Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amit. Today we are going to answer this question. If you need to watch a directory for a specific file to be added, which task will you use? This is a very uh, common scenario when uh, we wait for the file and once the file is available, we run, we run the uh, package. So let's uh, go to SSDT and take a look. Inside uh, the tasks, uh, what we have here, we have uh, WMI Event Watcher task. This task can be used uh, to watch the file. So once the file will be put in the directory, it will raise an uh, uh, event uh, and uh, get completed uh, so it has its own language uh, so we have to write that and configure it um, you have different options here that first of all you have to make a connection then uh, you will be providing the input and uh, here you will be writing your query uh, that will uh, be used against that uh, directory and file and once it will be there it will return us a, a success message that means uh, this task will be completed as a successor so let's say you have this uh, package uh, this task uh, in the package and then uh, you ran this package in morning and you are waiting for a directory all day so your package is going to be in execute state all day long because it will be keep running it's not going to end it's not going to finish till the file will not be there so what other alternatives we have maybe we do not want to run our package all day long and keep waiting for the file uh, and instead of using wmi event watch watcher task we can use uh, simply for each loop container here and uh, we can use a uh, file uh, for each uh, file enumerator so what happened uh, we can run our uh, this package uh, on a 20 minute interval or 30 minute interval and uh, once uh, the file will be there it will uh, read that file and give to the data flow task or whatever other task we want to use for that file we can uh, use that so ev every 30 minute uh, we run the package and uh, that will take a look in the folder and if it is there fine if it is not there package will complete so there are multiple ways uh, to handle this situation i uh, really or haven't uh, seen a lot of people using uh, wmi event watcher task instead of that people go with the for each loop container approach and run the package on some defined uh, intervals uh, to take a look uh, if the file has arrived uh, in the directory or not so it's a more like a personal choice and uh, i will go with the for each loop container because i don't i want to just complete my package if the file is not there and um, if it is there just want to load that and complete the package instead of uh, the package will be in the running state or execution state for a long time and keep waiting uh, for the file uh, once we use a wmi uh, event watcher task thanks very much for watching this video and i will see you next video